My name is Darren McEwen and I'm a production operative, or basically I work in props. Basically, uh, we get in nice and early, about seven o'clock, uh, and we're in charge of looking after the sets. Uh, and I'm in charge of anything you see on screen. So anything you can pick up, anything you can move, any bits of scenery, like sofas, chairs. Uh, we're in charge of moving them around, putting them to camera uh, for the actors to sit on. Uh, any props, hand props, which the actors will use throughout the day. It could be mobile phones, laptops. It could be a pint of beer in the pub. Uh, we're in charge of making sure they're ready for the action. And we hand them to the actors. And then at the end, on the last scene, we make sure the sets are clear. We take all the props off again. We put the fourth walls back on. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. The extras love filming in the ballpark, yeah, because basically they're getting paid to drink beer all day. Uh, we have two kinds. I think we think it's Carlin now from the pumps. Uh, and we also have the real ales. Uh, anything spirit-wise, uh, that's all fake. So the vodka's water. Uh, the whiskey is a mixture of something we call burnt sugar, which is a very thick brown syrup that you mix with water. Uh, so that we use for anything from whiskey to brandies, things like that. I left university in 2000, where I did a degree in performing and media arts. Uh, when that finished, I luckily got a place at the BBC on a trainee scheme, which was basically a four week stint working in entertainment and development. Uh, from there, I got offered a job as a runner. Uh, for 12 months working in the edit departments in post-production. Uh, so I worked there for a year, then I left. I went into theatre for about five or six years uh, as an assistant stage manager and a technical ASM. So basically, again, it was relating to props and scenery. Uh, then after leaving there, I decided I wanted to get back into TV because uh, it was more of a permanent based job rather than travelling out of a suitcase around the country. Uh, so I worked for a program called Most Haunted in Manchester for about two years. Just working for Most Haunted originally uh, was quite a queer high because I was working on a show which a few weeks previous I'd been watching on the TV. I just sent a letter to their production office, found the address on the internet and just said, you know, I'm a big fan of the show. I've got some, a bit of TV experience as a runner from the BBC. Would you be interested in taking me on? I work for free, which I did for a little while. Uh, if any jobs come up and then literally a week later I got a phone call from the production office at Antics Productions and they said do you want to come to Wales for a week uh, as a runner I'm most haunted so I was like yeah great you look around on an average day and there's so many different people there's one guy doing the camera there's someone doing the sound uh, you've got your makeup your costume there's so many different areas you can go into and there's no reason why just because you're doing one particular job doesn't mean you can get a skill set in another and given the opportunities, which ITV are really good, you can move around and basically expand your skills and your experience. My dad's a builder and now he owns a building company that he set up the year I was born. Uh, and whilst I was younger, I think the idea was I'd go and work for my dad because I used to spend a lot of time in the summer holidays working for him to get extra cash. Uh, so me and my brother at the same time would work for my father uh, as a labourer basically. Uh, no particular skills, just pumping and shifting stuff around building sites. Uh, so when I left school, I think my dad was hoping that I would take over the family business eventually. But he understood that I was more interested in working in TV than I was in the building trade. Uh, so I've gone on to work in TV, whereas my brother still works with my dad. And he has now been there about 10 years. So I think my dad's going to get his wish and have one of his sons take over the business. When I was younger, I think the original inspiration probably came from my drama teacher at school because if it wasn't for Mrs. Basterfield. Yeah, if it wasn't for Mrs. Basterfield, I probably wouldn't be doing this job now because she was a person which made me do a certain play, which then led me to my interest in the media and film. Uh, so I suppose she's my main inspiration why I'm actually doing the job I'm doing now and why I'm working for ITV.